I have a problem. This is a V6 heat block, but the old style. It's one of those super cheap clones you can get for less than two bucks from China. And this is a thermistor cartridge. And these things only take the bead style thermistors. So this thing, not compatible. Today, I'm gonna try to fix that using some drills. I'm gonna drill a three millimeter hole into there, stick this one in and thread a second hole um, in order to make this thing, these, the, these two parts compatible with each other. Let's see how it goes. Right here on the well-organized workbench, held with some questionable work holding, we have the block. On there I have marked where I'm going to drill. Be careful to leave enough meat to the left and right, otherwise you're gonna compromise the structural integrity of your heat block, which could cause some problems down the line. We're having problems with aluminum chip evacuation. Instead of falling out there, they are kind of, I don't know, welding, melting onto the drill bit. So taking it slow with some lubrication. Oh, and we are through. Now the second hole, instead of three millimeter, I've installed a 2.5 millimeter drill in there. And I'm now going to cross drill this thing. And uh, this one's for the set screw that holds the thermistor in. German precision engineering is now ready to come. Like a millimeter of run out, useless. All of those holes were drilled um, with some oil on the drills. Don't forget if she starts to cry while you're going in, you should probably use some lube. Uh, I'm now gonna try to thread the sidebar for the set screw, though I doubt we have enough material on here for a proper thread to form, but it's worth a try at least. The holes are drilled, the edges are deburred, and the thread is cut. And the cartridge fits in there quite nicely. The only problem is that the idea with the set screw didn't work out properly. Um, sticks out quite a bit, the shortest screw I could find. So you should probably use some of those those boronitride paste or something along those lines to affix the thermistor cartridge in here. I don't think the set screw idea is gonna work. You can see this? I dumped a sh**. Doesn't fit. Solution to the problem. This thing. Here are some set screws. This is the one of the worst designed heat sinks I've seen in my life. Um, from the Sapphire, Sapphire Pro I think it is. Doesn't cool at all, constant heat creep problems. Fins, I don't know, these are probably two millimeter thick. And so much material around the heat break, the heat probably doesn't even arrive at the fins, so it's no loss here. And installed on the printer, doing a little test print, the heat block is working. You can see the little set screw is sticking out the top. Now that's a bit of a problem, because you can't access that screw, and you'll have to disassemble the entire hot end just to swap out the heater, heater cartridge. But it's better than just throwing the entire block away, in my opinion. So, it works, it prints, it holds temperature pretty well. I think I'd call this one a win. 
Wow. <laughs> Free energy. <laughs> Free energy coming out the back. Amazing DIY project. <laughs> ich habe noch nicht mal den Bohrer, weißt du, ich fange an zu filmen und habe noch nicht mal alles fertig vorbereitet.